Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. This is something the kids need to know that it's going to be some consequences behind it. Police arrested a 12-year-old girl in Cape Coral for making threats to shoot up her school. Someone tipped off the teacher that Anaya Harris posted a threat to Snapchat. Officers say she sent a picture with a gun in her hand saying she was going to shoot up her school tomorrow. This is just the latest in a string of school threats across our area, and parents are not the only ones fed up. Police are too. Thank you for counting on NBC2. I'm Brenna White. And I'm Peter Bush. Last week alone, there were three school threats in our area. Police are taking each one seriously, but as NBC2's Gage Golding reports, it comes at a cost. This latest threat was sent on Snapchat, a 12 year old student snapping a picture with a gun with the caption, I'm going to shoot up the school tomorrow. Once she pressed send, it wasn't long until Cape police got it. That's not something you can take lightly or as a joke at all, whether it's real, not real, you gotta take it seriously. That's exactly how detectives took this threat. A teacher tipped off a school resource officer about the picture Anaya Harris is accused of sending. She told detectives it was just a joke, but they didn't think it was very funny. These are not jokes at all. If you make any threat like this, you're going to be arrested. And she was cuffed and charged with making a threat to conduct a mass shooting. It's not OK and it's not all right. It's become an epidemic. Eddie Rucker's son goes to Diplomat Middle. Same with Ashley Como's kid. She's uh, my son's age. When I hear it more, like I started thinking like, oh, it's just probably like a trick or something. But it's not a trick, and that might be part of the problem. The commonality of these threats being fake shouldn't bring comfort because these threats could actually happen. It still should be taken seriously. That's why Kate police drop what they're doing and dig into messages like these, finding out if it's fake or for real. It's, it definitely is taking a lot of our resources. Um, especially for a major crimes unit, they could be utilizing those resources doing something else. If you're thinking of pulling what you might call a prank, just listen to this third grader. Do something better about your life. Change your life. Reporting in Cape Coral, Gage Golding, NBC2.